Hello guys, I'm Phil, Sabaktavian, and today we're going to talk about super ships and their future in World of Warships. Hello, I'm Victor, you also know me as Shonai, and I, I'm Associate Life Producer, and I'm here today to talk a bit about super ships. In the 0 10 update there will be two already known super ships, known as Satsuma and Gunover, along with four new ones which will become available in ranked battles. Even before that season we began thinking on the further destiny of these ships besides their periodic and limited appearance in some modes. Based on the feedback and statistics and survey data from the first event where these ships appeared, Grand Battle, uh, we decided that these ships were taken pretty positively. They proved themselves well and there were pretty good gameplay uh, along with Tier 9 and Tier 10. After this event we of course spotted numerous questions, so what will be the next steps with these ships? And this is an interesting question. Uh, super ships and their mechanics caused a lot of interest from the players. Reminding, we would like to mention that we are planning the autoloader mechanic introduction for two supercruisers, the French Condi and American Annapolis, and for Soviet super destroyer Zorki. This mechanic works quite simple. You press the button and then the turret fires a quick burst of shells, then going for a long reload. And lastly, for the second super destroyer, the Yamagiri for Japan, we are planning to have an option of switching in battle between two different types of torpedoes, which will be different in parameters such as speed, damage, detectability and range. These mechanics will diversify typical player behavior, will create a lot of additional decision-making scenarios in battle, and we believe they will expand the game. Therefore, we decided that the super ships and their mechanics, taking into account considerable interest paid to them, are worthy of becoming a permanent part of the game. Development of World of Warships is going wide by addition of new branches, new mechanics and uh, even new unique ships like hybrids. But the thing is that numerous possible concepts may not fit well into long predefined boundaries. Taking into account the very nature of super ships as an evolution of already existing ones, we believe that the most logical and reasonable it would be to add them into a tech tree as continuation of existing branches. Besides being reasonable, we believe that as super ships have a technological advantage over their forerunners, super ships won't fit well into tier 10. Nowadays, tier 10 ships are the most popular ships in the game, and that's natural, and the longer the game lives and the more people would reach this tier, the more popular this tier is. And the popularity is expected to grow steadily in the future. For all of that, there are a maximum of three ships from each branch released getting in tier 10 battles, which kind of limits their diversity. Uh, we believe that adding new tier there will diversify game process significantly and enrich the game. Of course, adding new ships with new game mechanics into the existing tech trees is not the only way to make sure that World of Warships will stay diverse and interesting for years to come. We're also working on new maps and new game modes, however, to ensure the true longevity of the game, we also need to work on game progression. This is the reality. We would like to make obtaining this iconic for game development ships easier and clearer for all of those who desire them having not caused any harm to the ones using the research bureau. Therefore, it will only require you 1 XP to research super, super ship after you obtain tier 10. The price of the super ship itself will be charged around 1.5 2.5 times more than the tier 10 ships. In terms of game economy, we don't want these new ships to get into the same situation where currently our tier 10 is. Tier 10 is too popular also because of economy, which allows players to farm on the ships and stay on this tier without basically the need to get lower to get some credits. So we're going to adjust this economy for the new super ships and most likely their service costs will be approximately two times higher than service cost of tier 10. For all of that, we have not yet a specific values for service cost of super ships. Therefore, in ranked season, which will begin in 0 10, 10 these ships will neither earn nor require credit spending. 
We shall certainly share exact values as soon as the decision is made. To properly test these ships, we will begin with rank battles, and then we will make decisions and further steps of this ship's implementation. So, we will look into your feedback and concerns very carefully, we will try to react to all the questions, and then we will get this concept ready, hopefully, for the game. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in Ranked Battles in Zero 1010. So, thank you for being with us, and see you in brand new Ranked Battles with Superships. Action Stations. <laughs>